the title of this video just means that uh, this tutorial is going to be for those who know absolutely nothing about programming not just uh, on a calculator but uh, programming in general obviously if you know how to program already uh, if you know some languages or if even if you know only one language that is going to help a lot uh, because the, uh, the truth is all these programming languages all these major languages they they have a lot they have a ton in common like a lot in common okay but the language on this is very 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 basic but still it is also at the same time very powerful i mean you can do you can do unbelievable stuff with the uh with the programming language on this calculator okay so without further ado let's just uh, dive into it uh before i forget i want to mention that uh, everything i'll be doing in this video uh is going to be uh, pretty much applicable to uh all text instrument calculators uh cast calculators with uh, the motorola 6800 mc processor so that means the TI-92 from 1995, the 89 from 1998, the 92 plus here, and uh, the Voyage 200 as well. Um, in this uh, uh, series of tutorials, hopefully uh, this video, I mean, even if, you, even if it doesn't get uh, a lot of views, I'm still going to upload the videos anyways. Uh, but uh, this is going to be for uh, beginners. Like, I'm just going to assume that uh, you know nothing about programming. So I'm going to try my best to explain this as easy as I can. Okay. So if you have uh, a TI-92+, 90, uh, uh, 92 plus, then uh, this video is just, it's just going to be uh, 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 the way to go. But you can also do this, like I said earlier, you can do this on pretty much uh, um, all legacy uh, uh, text instrument calculators with uh, the computer algebra system. Okay. You can do some of the stuff on the TI Inspire, but TI Inspire is pretty is very different from this one actually. Even though they have the same functions for the most part, they have a, uh, all the functions that you have here. You have you have all the, all the same functions on uh, a TI Inspire plus more. But programming on a TI Inspire is slightly diff is uh, slightly different. Not slightly, it's actually a lot different than this one if you think about it. Okay, so I'm using a TI 92 plus. This is running on the latest uh, uh, OS, which is uh, 2.09 so if you don't have uh, this firmware then uh, you're not gonna have all the functions I have here but for the purpose of this video uh, we probably not we're not gonna use uh, anything we're not, we're not gonna do anything complicated okay so this first part is probably going to be a uh, really short uh, I'm gonna try to upload a series of short videos because uh, I don't want you to be overwhelmed and like I said I'm also going to make this as easy as I can it's gonna be like baby steps pretty much okay so without further ado, uh, let's get started. So you can access uh, the program editor by going to the app. And uh, obviously, oftentimes, uh, if you uh, get the calculator out of, uh, out of the box, you may not have this uh, graphical user interface here. So you, you may not have uh, these icons uh, as app. So you can easily change that by going to mod, press F3 and scroll at the bottom. Uh, what it says apps desktop you want to uh, turn that feature off if you don't have that on i mean you want to turn that on if you don't have it uh, on if it is off then uh if you press app this is what you're gonna see okay and uh you can also just go to program editor is the same thing but uh i find the graphical user interface with the icon just uh, uh slightly better okay and you can only have this uh, user interface that user interface uh, if you are running on the latest uh, firmware that I showed you earlier 2.09 okay so let me go back and put it back to what it was so f3 okay so if you are running on uh, an older firmware version then you won't have this uh, option here at all okay so I'm gonna go to my app and um, I can just uh, navigate uh, to uh, program editor okay so you press enter and uh, every time you press enter, every time you try to launch the program editor, it's going to ask you whether you want to open just the current program that you are working on. Even if you even if you never uh, even if you never done any program, it's going to it's always going to ask you whether you want to work on the current one. If you don't have any current one, then it's just going to want you to create a new one. OK, and the open. Obviously, it's going to ask you uh, if you uh, select this, then it's going to take you to your uh, uh, to all the programs you have on the calculators and it's gonna uh, ask you to uh, you know uh, 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 the one you want to open and new that's what the one we will be using today so new we're gonna click on new and uh, it's gonna ask for the type so you have two types here you have program and then functions 
Okay, so uh, for now we get, we just gonna do program. We cannot. We, uh, we I will also be doing functions later on, but today it's just gonna be a program. Okay, so the difference between functions and programs is that uh, with a program, at least uh, uh, at, at this early stage uh, with a program, we're not gonna. Uh, you cannot uh, uh, pass argument. You cannot give any argument to your program. But with the function here, uh, you can uh, pass an argument. Actually, that's how the functions uh, the function work here. So when you make when you create a new function, then uh, the function is gonna take uh, values. It's gonna take arguments. So that's uh, what what it is. I don't know if I'm explaining this well, but uh, you know, just uh, work with me, okay? And also, if you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section. I may, you know, uh, explanation. There may be some langu language barrier. I may not, you know. I may uh, explain something uh, differently than uh, others might. You know, you might get a little confused, but uh, you know, if you don't understand, just make sure you put it in the comment section. I'll do my best to assist you. Okay, so we're gonna do program. That's the default, by the way. And it's gonna ask you where you wanna save it. Don't worry about that too much. Just uh, leave everything default. So we're gonna save it in the main folder. Okay, and uh, the variable. So that's just the name of your program for the most part. So the variable is really important. Just make sure you uh, give it a name that you you know you are going to remember so let's just do a a, a p1 <laughs> that's not really a good name <laughs> don't take my advice don't that's not really a good name p1 is you know it's very basic but uh we're gonna press enter and uh one more time and it's gonna take you to this screen right here as you can see you have your uh name uh, your program name at the very top and uh it has a uh an open parenthesis and a closed parenthesis a set of parentheses so uh, we're not going to put anything inside of these parentheses for now, okay? So we're just going to do some very basic stuff. So every new program language that you learn, the very first thing you are going to do is going to be uh, to output a, a statement on the display, you know, to print something on the display. Uh, for those who are familiar with uh, languages such as, let's say, uh, top of my head, let's say C++. Okay, so it's the equivalent of uh, C out. You know, it's going to uh, display something, a message on the screen for the user, you know. Uh, just uh, a statement, okay? So you have many ways of doing that on here, okay? So you have uh, the display statement. Uh, you can, if, uh, uh, let's see, uh, if you press F1, it's gonna show you more options here, okay? So F1 is gonna show you more options. Obviously, you can just uh, open a new, new, a new program you were working on previously. You can save this and you can new, create a new one. And uh, yeah, you have all these uh, options. You can delete uh, whatever you were working on. And uh, if we scroll over, then uh, you have all these functions here. You have the if statement, if then, this is when, you have the loop statements, all this stuff here. And uh, if you move over, then uh, you have the uh, IO input output statements here, di dialog. You have all that text requests. Those are slightly more in intermediate. You know, th th those are not really a beginners. It could be, you know, they could be. But uh, for now, we're just going to uh, work with the display these uh, uh, functions here display input and uh, prompt whatnot okay and also all the functions are not gonna be here okay so the catalog is going to be your friend the catalog is going to be your friend so f4 is uh you know more function define you know f5 find okay so we're not gonna use none of these for now we're just gonna be a uh, very basic okay so the catalog is going to be your friend so press second key and then uh, number two. It's gonna take you to the catalog. So the functions you are now going to see in the program editor, uh, you all those functions would be here. Okay, all those uh, functions would be here, and even the ones that are already in the program editor will also be here as well. Like the display, just put, uh, press D. Okay, and uh, if you keep scrolling down, then uh, it's gonna show you all those functions here as well. Okay, so let's exit out. And the good thing about uh, something really good about this is that uh, you can just uh, tap all the functions you want. If you know the function, you can just tap them. You don't necessarily have to go to the catalog or even uh, uh, to uh, this menu right here. Okay. So first, the display. Just like I said earlier, it's gonna be like a display statement on the screen, and it's not case sensitive. So whether you put capital or lowercase it doesn't matter. Okay. So put display, and uh, if you are going to print a statement. Uh, if it is a string, a string is just uh, a, like uh, anything that is letter, a set of uh, words is going to be a string, a sentence, a phrase, all those are going to be a string. So a string in a program language is going to be in a quotation mark, double quotation, okay? And the same can be said for pretty much all these program languages, all these uh, uh, object-oriented program languages, Java, C-sharp, C++, 
and even the non uh, object oriented ones as well okay uh, my phone is going to run out of memory so this is probably going to be uh, <laughs> uh this sucks i wasn't okay anyways i digress so the display is gonna uh, print out uh whatever you put in this uh, double quotation so you can just uh do uh, my first uh, my first program okay okay i did a made a little mistake there okay my first my first program so this is uh, uh the display okay so if we go back to home the way you will run your program is very easy so you just gotta put the name of the program and uh open the apprentice and close it and press enter okay and it says my first program the reason why you have all this bunch of stuff here all this uh, all this stuff here that's because i was doing some testing earlier okay so you can uh, just uh, exit out and uh if you want to go back to the program just press second key then app it's going to take you back to your program okay so something that i always do okay something that i always do uh uh something i also forgot to mention is that uh you have the name of your program here and uh between a uh, uh, program and end program that's where you would put uh, all your stuff all your st the recording had stop uh anyways let's continue so between program and end program that's where you would be putting all your statement all your functions whatever you want to do you know all your programs that's where all your codes would be written okay so you can put uh, you can press enter and that's not gonna change anything you know it's just gonna make the uh, uh your stuff more legible i guess okay so <clears throat> display uh one thing i always do is uh at the very top here so there's a function clear uh it's called the, the statement is uh clear io so what that does is uh <clears throat> so whenever you launch the program it's just gonna uh it's gonna be like uh it's always going to open like a new window like i showed you earlier if i go home and uh run my program as you can see it's, it's always going to show the previous stuff you were working on here so to uh to uh launch your program in uh in, in a new window always you just gotta let's go back to program you just you just need a statement here it's called a uh, clear io okay again it's not case sensitive it doesn't matter so you can put clear io and uh there's a, the function is also there if you go to catalog you can also find that function you press c you have clear home that does something else and this is clear io this the, we, we pretty much use the same thing okay again it's not case sensitive uh, but it's it's always good. It's good practice to uh, you know to uh, 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 to force yourself uh, 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 writing the uh, the functions the way the calculator has it. <laughs> anyway, so if we go back home and enter this program, then as you can see, it's gonna be a fresh, a brand new window. Okay, my first program. So that's all we did. We just a, a C out statement. A, it's just an output display statement that's gonna display whatever you put in the double quotation. Okay. So let's go home and let's go back to the program okay so now obviously we that's uh, very basic so we want to do some more stuff okay so my first program okay so let's change that and uh, make a, a little program that is actually functional okay so we gonna do a, a addition or subtraction it doesn't really matter okay so we can just uh, play with it we can do a, a, a we can say okay this program this program uh, adds, uh, let's say, uh, this program adds uh, two numbers, okay? This this program adds two numbers. This program adds two numbers, okay? So once we have that, that's 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 pretty much gonna be uh, the uh, that's like the welcome. That's so when when you launch the program, that's what it's gonna show you, like what the program does, okay? The objective this program adds two numbers so how are you going to add two numbers so you go to the next line and uh again there are many ways of doing this so one way i'm, I'm going to show you is going to be the input statement using the input statement okay if you go to io one you can find the input statement here okay so first this the one we use first display statement that's going to display anything you put within a, a double quotation the input statement is also going to work uh, very similar to that okay so let's click okay on the input statement and uh now this can be uh <clears throat> this this uh can be confusing to some uh if you put the into input statement let's say let's say you're just playing with the calculator for yourself and uh you know uh, nobody was there to teach you so one way you can find out how to use this statement properly like 
when, when, when you put the input statement now what's next okay so what do i do next so before i forget so if you go to catalog and put and press input uh input here as you can see input here just uh make sure it is selected or it is highlighted and uh if you notice if you pay close attention there's a a, a, a help uh, help menu here so if you press f1 on it then it's gonna show you what that does like what you need to do with that statement or that function so it says string then comma variable so var stands for variable so string string is uh what we did earlier with the display string is uh whatever was uh inside the double quotation that is called a string okay a string is just uh, a set of uh, letters okay a set of letters sentence a phrase does matter okay a string is whatever that is within a double quotation so so to use the input statement or the input function so you gotta do a string first comma and then variable okay so variable that's where uh the uh uh the input uh the input uh value is going to be stored in okay so i'm gonna this is gonna make sense in a little bit so let's go back okay so it says string comma variable so string remember string all, always needs to be within double quotation so open your double quotation okay second key and then l and uh just uh put whatever okay so uh, this program says this program asks to number okay enter let's see enter first number enter first numbers okay so this the input input means that the program or the calculator is gonna take it in it's gonna take something in from you it's gonna take something the keystroke you you're gonna do after uh whenever this uh, uh statement execute it's gonna take in whatever you you put okay so you put comma as the uh catalog suggested so you put comma and then your variable okay so just give it a name so input so when the calculator takes in your uh input what like one name you want to give it to it okay so is when you when you enter the number what name you want you you, you want to give it to it so enter first number so let's just uh, put put a uh, new one okay you can put new one and uh it's gonna take the first number and store it in a variable called num num one okay num one and we're gonna do the same thing input again it's not case sensitive so just press you can just type input that's the that's the magic about this calculator is it is a curated keyboard so you don't have to spend 30 seconds let's see if you are using this for instance you don't have to spend 30 seconds trying to figure out so input and uh, open the double quotation once again and uh do a enter uh second num second number and uh we are going to close it okay uh comma and we are going to store that in a variable called num2 okay num2 and you probably you, you notice that i i did my variable like this num1 num2 i couldn't have done let's say i can't do num space one or there cannot be space between a variable uh i mean in a variable name you cannot have space in a variable name so it has to be if you are going to and it doesn't have to contain any letter any number so you can either do num1 or you can do a you know it doesn't have to be uh uh a letter i mean a number here you or you could do a, a num capital one so yeah it's it's up to you, you can do that or just number one this is easier i found okay or you can even put a uh uh the underscore i believe let's see underscore number one you can do that as well okay so let's do a number one i don't even know if, is that underscore it doesn't look like underscore to me so i mean we try it out because i don't really every, every, okay so everyone has a programming style so just to stick to uh uh your style uh i ne i never use uh underscore when i when i i, I do well i do but uh, for the most part i don't use uh i don't i have i have a different style some people like to do their uh, some some people have a uh, uh, they like to name their variables uh like a num underscore one or num underscore whatever you know but i don't do that I just uh, i usually do a num then uh this is what i usually do uh num one something like this like a capital i capitalize the second word but uh, for the purpose of this video it's just gonna be this one right here okay okay so we have the display statement and then the input statement so the input statement is gonna take in the first number and store it in a variable called num1 
Let's kind of do the same thing for the second, uh, this second line right here as well. Okay. So I have the extra space here. I don't need it. You know, I can erase it or I can just leave it, out, <coughs> leave it as is. Anyways, before I run this program, I'm just gonna go over everything I did quickly. Okay. So the very first line here says clear IO. That is going to, you know, uh, that's just going to erase every uh, every program we are running uh, in the background. It's just gonna erase it, and whenever we launch this program, it's gonna be in a new window. So that's why the clear I/O does clear input output uh, input output. In the first and then the second line display is going to uh, display a message on the screen. Okay, and that message is going to be uh, this program adds two numbers. So that's going to be the statement. Okay, and the third line here. Uh, input enter first num number and then uh, comma num one that is going to take in uh, whatever it's gonna take in so when it, when this uh, statement execute then the user is going to be prompted to put some put, to put a number to put uh, to enter a number and uh, <coughs> the calculator is gonna take that number in and it's going to store it in num one and uh, the fourth line is going to do the same thing by storing num two in a variable called num two okay and to add those numbers, it is very simple. Okay, so you do the display again. Remember, display is uh, going to, uh, it can display a string, which is anything inside a quotation. You can also display numbers or or, or, or results. And uh, to display the results, we're just gonna do num1 plus num2, just like we would normally do uh, if we're doing like a simple calculation. So num1, display num1 plus num2, okay? Just like so, okay. Very easy, okay. And uh, we don't need to save it. We can just uh, go to home. Everything saves automatically. So just go to home. And uh, if we run our program once again, as you can see, it's gonna take us to this new window. Okay, always it's gonna open. It's always gonna open a, a new window for us. So this is the first line here. Say this program adds two numbers. Okay, and then you are. This is the first input statement enter first number so it is waiting for your response as you can see the uh, curse is blinking so you can just put, put any number okay we put i put a 898 press enter and then asking you enter second number so just uh, asking to uh you know the you are being prompted to enter another number so press enter and then you just gonna display the results 953 okay so that's what the input statement does uh this video is too darn long <laughs> I swear to God, I thought this video was not going to be more than five minutes. But uh, when you are trying to explain something, it's like uh, you can't just uh, you can't just uh, explain uh, one thing and leave something out. You can, I mean, you gotta you gotta you gotta explain everything uh, fully. You know, you gotta fully explain everything. But uh, I really hope that was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, again, don't hesitate. Just put it in the comment section, and uh, I'll try my best uh, to help. Uh, this is not, like I said uh, at the beginning of this video, this program language is very basic, but it is also very powerful because uh, uh, it is impressive what you can really do with this when you sit down and really try to, uh, and really try to, uh, uh, to make something beautiful with it. You, 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 absolutely, you can absolutely do that, you know. Uh, yeah, with that being said, I'm out.